Well, I've been tying a lot of flies. I'm um, getting ready for next season. And uh, this is just a very simple black and red pertagon with a silver bead. Uh, very effective fly, uh, very simple fly to tie. A few materials here that we're using, uh, just CDL for the tail. I'm just using kind of a white and black. Uh, you can use your favorite black thread. I like to use something flossy. Uh, I'm using Danville 6 Flymaster. Fly Master. Um, 70 denier UTC would be awesome, along with Vibis. Um, doesn't really matter because we're going to be using UV glue. I'm using also a little globe light floss. I really like the pop on this on the bottom. But you can use red thread as well. UTC 70 denier red would work fine. I'm using a little bit of Loon today to flow. And a little bit of this uh, Solar Res in black. Join me. And here we go. On this size 18, I'm using a 1 8 inch silver bead. Go ahead and get that in my vise. And um, you, know, you can change up the size of these beads if you like. You could add lead if you want to. Um, I don't feel it's necessary. But uh, here we go. I'm going to start off with a little thread base right behind the bead there. I'm going to run that thread back to the hook bend right there and then uh, come back forward. And we are going to build a taper on this fly along with the glue. Using a little bit of CDC here. I'm just going to pull off, I don't know, probably about an eighth of an inch in width. And uh, my tail is going to be about the width of the hook gap off the back. Go ahead, pinch that, a couple loose tr turns over the top. And work that all the way back once again to that hook bend. This flies originated in Spain. I uh, had a client years ago from the Pertagon area. It's a geographic location, in case you didn't know. And uh, he wanted to just tie his own flies. He wanted to fish these flies all day, and he, uh, he crushed it. And I know a lot of people have used these. Um, very, very, very good fly. If I spin my thread or my bobbing counterclockwise, it's going to open up this thread a little floss here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I'm just going to continue to keep going back. And I'm going to come back almost to the end and come back forward. The idea is to get a nice taper. Come back again. Come forward. At the same time, I'm locking that bead in. And every now and then, I'm occasionally just opening up that thread to make it a little more flossy. You can make these as thick as you want with the taper. You could also use the glue. And uh, just keep coming back forward. Each time I go back a little bit less. And I get right there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my handy whip finishing tool. And I'm going to... Um, Go ahead, we'll finish that off with a four or five whip turn. And cut that off uh, nice and close. I'm using this Glow Bright. Uh, this is Bright Red, number three. It's the order uh, number for that. I'm gonna start right behind the bead. A couple of turns there, and I'm gonna get in there and cut that nice and short. Uh, these copper scissors uh, for getting in there really close, especially on these smaller flies, um, are excellent. You can just see how narrow those tips are, and just uh, you can get in there really nice and close. Then when I 
once I have that floss on, I'm gonna come back about the width of the bead out there. Once again, I'm gonna also open this up. This is gonna be flossy to begin with. But then come forward and kind of build a taper right onto the bead. And uh, just like so. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and do like three or four turn whip finish. Cut that off nice and short. Your fly is done. You fish that right there. But the key to the Pertagon, or I shouldn't say the key, is uh, that little black dot on top. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Flow UV resin, along with my bodkin. This is really where uh, rotary bias is awesome. I'm just gonna kind of work that in. I'm using this Infinity Torch, which I just finally bought. <clears throat> this torch is awesome. You can recharge it. The charge lasts an entire day. Um, I got tired of using these cheap little torches that I used for years that required AAA batteries. Uh, they were just garbage. So I went ahead and I decided to start using this loon. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love it. Now, if you want to, uh, you could build a bigger taper with your glue. I'm not. I like these nice and small. Then I'm using this Solar Res Black. Now, I'm going to use the tip. You could put a little dab on a Bakken. And I'm going to build just a nice little dot right on the top. Of course, that's going to lock in everything along with that other glue. And start small. Okay, small little dabs. Just take your time. Once again, with this rotary vise, which I really like, is I can control where the glue flows just using gravity. And uh, I'm going to build this up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my torch. Good solid five seconds. That's all you need. And you can see that's looking great, but uh, I want to fill that gap in a little bit more. So I'll take a little bit more of this solar res. And this stuff comes in multiple colors. And if you Google Pertagon, uh, you'll notice there's all types of colors, shapes, you name it. It's, it's a really cool fly. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Turn it upside down once again. It's looking good. Use my torch. Five, four, three, two, one and um there's your finished product this is just a black and red pertagon with a silver bead the reason why i really like the glow bright is it's got that uv you can really see that bright when i put the torch on it so under water i know that's going to really be popping and um tie these up in different sizes i usually tie these up in 16 18s and 20s it's a fly that drops fairly quickly. Uh, you can use this under any type of indicator system, including Euronymphing. Uh, you can also use this underneath uh, a dry fly if you wanted, especially in these sizes. You know, a good elk carrot caddis, parachute atoms, uh, all of those flies will suspend this. You can buy all these materials at the Caddis Fly Shop. Visit caddisflyshop.com and uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching.